Hello everyone, welcome to the Beckett Tracer Activity 16.2.1 from CCMP and Core Course from Cisco. This activity is about GRE and tunneling, how to configure a tunnel using, uh, of course, Beckett Tracer. So as you can see here, this is the our uh, screen, as you already know, and just I will put this in the background. I keep this completion here so I can see or check my completion. Okay, so let's see the objectives. Here we have first verify router connectivity, and then we are go going to configure GRA tunnels, as you can see here, this tunnel here. And then we are again going to verify the connectivity. So in this scenario, uh, here you are the network administrator for a company which wants to set up a GRA tunnel to a remote office. Both networks are locally configured. You need configure you need configure the tunnel and the static routes. Okay, so for instructions for part one, we have to check the ping, of course, between RA and RB. So here both these there should be connectivity between them in order to make uh, or to configure a tunnel okay so here as you can see here on RA enable show IP interface brief and here we need to check the IP address of serial 000 let's take it again and then we need from RP we need to ping this enable and then we need ping as you can see here we have access rate is 100 percent so now we can configure the tunnel before this we are going to check if we can ping uh, between pca and bcb and of course we should not be able to make the ping because there is no route in the routing table. As you can see here, request out, request timeout, request timeout, request timeout. Okay, and this is exactly what is given here. And you will find this uh, file in the description box. Okay, in part two, we are going to configure a, GN a GRA tunnel or tunnels. Okay, so to configure a tunnel, as you can see here, we need to uh, define a, an interface under interface tunnel and then we give a number now we are going to give a zero and then we need an IP address for this interface tunnel and then of course we are going to make a source address is our the source the source address is the of course is going to be the interface and the destination is the IP address of the destination this is a very important point here I would like to highlight again Always the source is the interface name and the destination is the IP address. Okay. And then we just put the mode in a GRE IP and then of course we have to make it no shutdown. Okay, so from where we can get this IP address, of course we should have an IP an IP table says that uh, this is the IP of the tunnel and this is the subnet mask. Okay, so let's do this. Again, this please focus on this. The source is the interface and the destination is the IP. Okay, so let's do this, configure terminal. And then we are going to write interface tunnel. And then we give zero. And then we put the IP address. Okay, and then of course we need tunnel source it's going to be as 000, and the tunnel destination is the IP address, as you can see here, this one. And of course we need to make the tunnel mode as GRE. This is, a, this is the, uh, the, input, the protocol. And then no shipping. Okay, so hopefully it's clear what we did. Then we have to do the same 
with router B, enable, then of course configure terminal, and then we need to define interface as you can see here again interface 000 first interface tunnel 0 and then we give an IP address source we need of course the interface and the tunnel destination is the IP address this one okay so what we have here first again we have the IP address of the tunnel of the router A as you can see here this one and then we Put the tunnel source which is the source with the interface source and then we put the tunnel destination which is the destination of the IP address of the interface of the remote um, router and of course no shutdown okay so this is what we uh, this is all about the interfaces now we need to put the route in the routing table so this is also an, that's after configuring the tunnels and the routers, we need also to define the route in the routing table. So to do this in router A, let's go here again, exit from here, and then we just put a route in the routing table. And of course, we can type our IP route. And then we put the IP address. And here also we need to explain this about the IP addressing. As you can see here now in router A, we are telling the router A that everything or each, all the packets, destination or go, um, all the packets uh, go to this network 192.168.20, this sub, this the network address. Of course, through it to 10.10.10.2. Or to this to this IP address as you can see here and we are going to define here the same problem idea all the packets to this network through it to 10 10 10 point 1 okay so this is the IP route so now we are in router A again we are going to define a route to this network through this port here okay so to do this 192 168 and then dot two dot zero with subnet mask two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty five two hundred fifty five zero all the packets to this network through it to this network to this interface or to this um, network which is ten 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 two as you can see here and we are going here again. And here exit again IB route. You can now guess with me what I'm going to write. So all the packets to network 192.168.10 with subnet max 255.255.255.0 through it to this network or to this router with IP address 10.10.10.1. Okay, so let's 192, 192, 168, and then 1, and then 0, put subnet mask, and then, of course, the IP address of the interface on the router. Okay, so let's see what we have missed. Well, first, let's try to bing from here PCA. Mm 
as you can see here we have a problem let's check out here we have in router B IP address incorrect okay let's check it again We are in tunnel 0 and then we put the IP address which is there's an IP address IP address here is you can see here 10 0 okay so here we have a problem because it's going to be it should be 10 10 10 1 okay so let's fix this first we need to put no and then we define it again so and then and one i think it's okay now and let's try to bring again Again. as you can see now it's working correctly and as you can see here we have also the completion 29 or 92 sorry let's check what is the problem Okay, so let's Okay, as you can see here, the problem is there. So the tunnel IP address should be, as you can see here, 10, 10, 10, 0. Okay, so the problem was there, 
this should be the tunnel 10 10 10 0 So as you can see here now the completion is 100. Let's see what we have here. Ping PCA from PCB. We already did that. A trace the path from PCA to PCB. A TM that trace the path from PCA to PCB. Not that the look the lake of public IP transfer rotation the output. So let's do this. Okay, as you can see here, we have this tunnel is here, the IP address of the tunnel. So to recap again, let's go here again. We have the tunnel IP address. Let's check here again. As you can see here, what we have, we have the IP address of the tunnel, which is 10.10.10.2. And then we have the tunnel source, and then what we have the tunnel destination, where the tunnel destination is the IP address of the destination of the router, and the, or, or, or the remote router. So that's all for this activity. Thank you very much, and see you next video.